Welcome back to another video guys uh, I don't know how this video is going to go honestly I tried jotting down some things so I don't say too much or I don't talk for a very long time but I still don't know how it's going to go I have put down some points so I don't say too much or too little I just remember like the most important things to mention in this journey my breakup journey i haven't been happy well now i think i'm okay the latter part of 2022 was very difficult for me uh what i mean by the latter part is in the month of i guess september october till december wasn't very easy for me I just really didn't speak about any of this because <laughs> I am just that type of person that feels like I communication can sort out everything. So yeah, let's talk. It will be well. What I learned from this relationship is that that's not true. Sadly, if someone doesn't want well, not if someone doesn't want something to work with you. If you and whoever is on the other side of the relationship are not on the same page, <laughs> fuck communication. There's nothing to communicate because you will talk and they won't listen or they will talk and you won't listen. There's just not an understanding. So it's probably not communication that's the most important. It's comprehension. During like those months, I really went through it. I was so fucking depressed. I would cry so much i would feel like i'm the problem <laughs> which in the end i realized that i am not or i wasn't the problem and i would get to that i am not even the type of person to just conclude when um conclude that the other person that i'm having an issue with is the reason why we are having an issue like i'll evaluate myself and i will sit back and i'll think did you do something wrong did you say something wrong were your words words misunderstood all of that after doing that your girl is not the problem <laughs> uh, it's actually a relief a relief to me trust me you understand what i mean so before december i had to let go i didn't just wake up and say oh i am done with this relationship I went through it anga zanga za. <laughs> I I actually had to speak to a couple of people. I remember the exact moments that I told myself that that is it. You can't keep killing yourself over this. You know, at a point, I I felt like oh, I can't be in certain places because I will see this particular person there or this particular person there. I stayed in my house i'll literally be invited out and i will not be in the mood to come out because i am thinking that i am a terrible person or i'm thinking that everything happening is my fault so i stayed home i would cry i would bawl my eyes out literally i will ha let this person have so much control over me <laughs> i finally let go before december because i wasn't going to carry all that basa basa into the <laughs> into the end of the year or into a new year i had a lot of thinking a lot of evaluation a lot of confrontation to do before the year ended and i came to a decision and came to an understanding that some things are not meant to work and it won't work and i have to let go i personally would rather stick with my ogs even if they are the most toxic people to deal with than move on and meet new people because personally i think or oh, well that's what i thought that why move on when something old fucks up i'd rather stick with them and deal with them than move on and meet new people that who knows in what way they will mess you up the more 
that was my ideology that was what i was living by <laughs> don't do that if you are the type of person that doesn't take friendships as seriously like as deep if you don't think friendships should be as deep as your romantic relationships i think at this point of the video you'd be like ah <laughs> or if you're like me and you think no me and somebody ha we've had a fallout and it's as deep as she's she's saying or i've been in this particular situation and it was with a friend not a sexual partner maybe you guys by this time at this point of the video you're like oh you were talking about your partner your boyfriend no i wasn't that nigga is not going anywhere but <laughs> i have been in friendships that have really hurt me to my core or they've hurt me more than i should have let them hurt me honestly everything i was saying about healing and being depressed crying and staying is because of friends <laughs> yes because of some friendships it was such a a terrible like time if you know me i'm sure like my friends like the people that are still close to me some of them some of them don't know those who know know how bad it was like the fact that i would allow a person or certain people have that much control over me to the extent that i wouldn't want to be places they will be because i feel like why were you a terrible friend to me like why are you being a terrible friend to me and you're kicking with this particular person why can't you be as nice to me as you were to you are being to this person why can't you be a good friend to me like don't i deserve to have you be a good friend to me the thing is most of the people that i have had a fallout with are people that i love loved because honestly i i don't i don't think i feel the same way but these are people that i loved dearly i am out there even if it's not i'm not as popular as jenna jackson is <laughs> that was stupid even if i'm not the most popular person i am still out there you've seen your head of me at a point and um it's very hard for me the reason why random people will text me and be like oh i want to be your friend i want to be can i be your friend can we be friends can we do this can we go thrifting together can we do this and i say no it's because i don't know you and i know people say you literally don't know people till you get to know them i don't want to know people because you don't even know which one is genuine or which one is not and i have had my fair share of friendship fuck ups trust me like most of these people are people that go way back way way back it's not somebody that i've known for five years that's what me up that you that i'm getting to know social media won't do like you know like i've been friends with particular people that have hurt me over and over again and as i said i felt like oh let me stick with this person because the devil you know is better than the angel you don't know ha like bro i i've come to the conclusion that some people just decide to be terrible people to you like i don't know if they know or they don't know but then there comes communication like there's some people that you even talk to them about oh you hurt me this way you hurt me that way and they make you look so stupid the first time i was ever gaslit when you say gaslighting i think gaslighting means i don't know what it means i'll put it on the screen like i understand what it means but i can't explain to you what it means in common words i'll put it on the screen the first time i was gaslit it was a friend someone that i love like a sister someone that will sacrifice my everything for it in telling the story is like oh you are telling what they did to you it's like they were bad friends yada yada but then you remember i said in the beginning that at a point i hated myself i hated myself because one person fucked me over I hated myself because one person messed me up so bad over and over again and the second person did that too then there came a third person for the first time i was like ah okay you are the bad person second time i was like okay let's talk it out maybe you did something wrong i did something wrong but if there's a third time and 
a different person is doing the same thing to you or it's like a different you and a different person are having a fallout because of the same thing it's time to look at yourself and that's what i did i'm really not the type to always like say you did it it's your fault you are the bad person i'll look at myself too because if something is going to work it goes both ways and i hate being the problem like if if something happens and i'm the reason why it happens i'll try my possible best to fix it i hate being the one to hurt someone like when i hurt you it hurts me you remember i was crying in my previous video well not crying but you guys saw me have like a really messed up my shoots <laughs> whatever it is that i know that you don't know i hope it gets fixed because i'm really sad about it i hope i don't look like i cried <laughs> let me wear glasses so that yeah you wouldn't see that crying it was cause <laughs> i was recording and someone texted me a friend someone that i really care about texted me that i did certain things that i even had no idea about i feel like they should have told me earlier but the fact that they even like typed that and i was clueless it broke me i just couldn't finish what i was recording i would want to know if i am the problem and if i am the problem we would probably have to fix it or something i just don't want to be the person who hurts someone even if it's any even if it's like an intimate relationship i don't want to be the person that will break your heart me hurting you hurts me i've had friendship experiences that made me question myself because everything i wanted in a particular friend and never got this particular person just showed it to different people like you know how difficult it is when like you're in love with someone right and you're asking for time you're asking for attention and all of that and because of that you guys break up because the person is not doing that part of the relationship and they get into a new relationship and they are doing that and more for their next partner so then it feels like is it just me you don't you don't love or something and that is the relationship that i had with one person another friendship experience i thought was being the best friend to madame <laughs> i thought it was being the best friend to madame to the fact to the point where even when like she was messing me up like she was hurting me i didn't say a word because at that point you know you know that thing where someone is going through something and they are hurting you like please never make excuses for that kind of um behavior because in the end now you be clown now you be moo moo because <laughs> like you're going through it steady and as you are going through it you are literally doing shit that you're not supposed to do but i will not say shit Oh, I didn't say shit because I feel like I love you so much and I'm not going to kick you when you're down. So I would wait till you're better. Me being a considerate person, I'll wait till you're better and then we will work this out. And then there was a fallout. <laughs> it's like you want to run, but I don't want to run. So that's what I'm going through. The whole point of this video is I went through like a depressing. I can't even do like a story time because it will mean saying oh let's call this person this this is what this person did let's call this person this this is what this person did but it's it let you guys know that friendships are very very weird <laughs> i can't even find a way to for it but friendships are weird like again if you are not the type to take friendship seriously you will not understand the most painful fallouts or heartbreaks i've had are from some friendships so i was about to record like an entirely different video for youtube and i was like ha, i haven't spoken to my youtube family about this one and it was something that really got to me like it was a big deal so why not i have come to an understanding that <laughs> every friend cannot be everything to you i have friends for different things right now not meaning to say that i have friends that if i'm going out i'll call or i have friends that 
just know that everyone loves and shows their love differently like let me mention of her who judith my housemate she is the friend that i would actually i don't share much like i don't talk to people about my shit much but if i will it will be judith they're just friends for different things i feel like also before you'd make one friend and expect them to expect them to be everything to you like that particular friend should be your best friend you should go and eat with this particular friend if they are not available then it's like some if they need time for themselves it's like oh are we fighting if they hang out with this person oh where is this particular friend like that was another problem when it came to friendships because i feel like we were going and it just wasn't working i don't think i'm open to making any new friends like for where you are from if you are from where from ghana from the united states from wherever i get literally you this that's but also when it is getting to christmas you have people text you oh i'm coming to ghana in in, in december i'm, I'm being ghana in two weeks so we can go thrifting or we can <laughs> there are people that will crush you <laughs> But yeah, I, I don't think, oh, honestly, like right now, maybe by the next December, then I am op open to doing that. But right now, I don't even think I am open to being friends and hanging out with people and all that, aside from the people that I'm already close to. And then, wait, if it's work, please, I always leave my mail in the description. Reach out to me. At this point, I guess you guys know I was talking about, oh, this is just a rant. Oh, so I did a instagram poll asking every like my instagram followers to mention random influencers and then i tell you people what i've heard about them before what i know about them if i know them in person or if i don't just judge them by their social media if you watch the end of this video i hope you're making some amazing friends and i hope the people that in your life are amazing and i hope you're a good friend yourself because friendship fallout is the worst like when it comes to i feel like when it comes to men you have an idea that oh this idiot to break your heart too. but when it comes to like your girlfriend it it just feels like it's going to be a forever thing so can you guys believe i can't find that comment but you guys can you believe that someone actually commented under my uh how much i spend in a week that oh finally an outside vlog everyday room vlog was getting tired do you think i spent all that money <laughs> to spec the room or to make my room look good to me so that when i want to record a video for youtube i went to the outside like and you know the person was like uh eh, the fact that what like i'm telling you you are being mean with your comment and you're letting me know that maybe i read it in that tone there are some things that you say no matter how you read it, it doesn't make sense because you could have said it differently like you could have clearly said that Oh, you miss my going out vlogs. You miss my going out vlogs and put you guys on places or stuff. So you'd like to see more of that. And you're actually glad that I stepped out. What is the everyday room vlog? You were getting tired. Like, you could have said it in a very polite manner to express what you mean. You can't throw out shit and then shit is said back to you and you are coming to play victim, bro. Like, please let me know if I'm tripping because I feel like if you want to say something, say it well. Like, if you want more, recommend. You know, there's genuine criticism and there's just pure hate. And what, what the best was doing was pure hate. I don't know if anyone of you saw that comment. So I was like, please. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you. I love you. I love you. And make sure you're a good friend. To whoever loves you back okay let's be good friends because it hurts to get your heart broken by your best friend <laughs>